Hey guys, Prazix here from Ladies Only. Uh, here to show you a quick tutorial on Tell Me When uh, for specifically Warrior class, but it can be changed to any class because we're, we're pretty much going to be monitoring Trinker procs and internal, internal cooldowns, uh, rage timers, abilities and buffs gained, debuffs, raid cooldowns, personal defenses, uh, debuffs applied to your target, damage, and just general enhancers. Uh, go have a setup. Tell me when from first login, how to create new groups and how to change edit groups to your liking, different sizes, timers, layouts, uh, and stuff like that. So let's get started. When you first log in, uh, you're going to get a bar that looks like this right here. Just a blank set. Uh, this is the default layout for your icons. Um, so when you want to get started, you just right click on any of these right here. It'll bring up Tell Me When's uh, main screen. Uh, from here, you can immediately set up the bar that you right click or the button that you right click on. Uh, so let's go into that before we do it. Uh, we're just going to set up right now a uh, just a, a quick buff uh, or ability cooldown just to get used with the layouts. And I'll walk you through the group settings and how to just general it. So click the, the drop down menu, go to spell cooldown. Let's do one for bloodthirst real quick. So type in blood. You only have to type in a few letters and it will come up. Uh, it, it just shows every single spell and cooldown or spell ability ID. Um, so just find Bloodthirst. Click on that. You want to have usable, uh, completely opaque. But Bloodthirst is does have a cooldown. So we want to only we want to monitor it when it is usable and unusable. So click unusable. Drop the opacity to 50%. You want to click show timer, so it will put that um, cooldown timer on it. I use LUI, uh, so click LUI timer text, and that's it. Uh, let's see it in action real quick before we go and anything else. Oh, I forgot this. So we'll go to groups before we do that. All right, so right click back on your button. It'll bring up the menu again. Go down to group settings. Uh, you select the, you will only have one group when you first log in. So drop down to your group. Uh, click only show in combat. This hides this uh, all the entire layout and it won't show the buttons unless you're in combat. For most damage abilities and stuff like that, the only ones I really don't have hidden uh, while out of combat are my raid ability cooldowns just so I can monitor them in between pulls, my three minutes and stuff like that because I, I don't have them on my bars down here. Uh, I prefer to run with a pretty minimalist UI which doesn't really look like it right now but <laughs> it's pretty clean. So only show in combat uh, here, while we're in the group settings, I'll just go over quick what you can do with it. Um, since right now we have one button, uh, your columns, they are vertical columns, rows is obviously horizontal. So if we just want our one button, scroll it over to one. If we have a, say, a five button rotation, uh, if you're a warlock and you just want to monitor it, procs and, and stuff like that, you set it to five, you can also drop it down. A different rows. It goes 20 by 20. Uh, unless you have a retarded amount of things you want to monitor, it's just there for your user-friendly stuff, just for different icons. So we're going to go one to one right now. Click OK. But first, let's show. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little distraught. Um, for icon users, down here you can change between icon and bar. And as simple as that. With weak cores, you got to go through all kinds of crazy weirdness. Uh, but group display method icon is currently checked. It's icon with the cooldown uh, text in the middle, just like your regular bars. Bars, it will have a little bit more options. Uh, unfortunately, in under the main menu, you can check here. You can allow full up. You can uh, use color overrides to change the different colors you want. Uh, it's just it's a pretty basic setup for the bars. Uh, so. I don't prefer bars. I like icons. We're going to stick with icons for this tutorial. Just know that the bar option is there uh, if you prefer for certain things. So we got our bar set up. Slash TMW to exit and enter the menu. Go over our dummy here. We're in combat. I started with a bloodthirst, so it's immediately a cooldown. It's back up, so it's highlighted, completely ready to go again. Press it, goes down, shows the icon. So with that, let's move on to the main thing that we want to monitor trinkets, procs, internal cooldowns, and also enrages. 
So Enrage is a buff. Trinkets are also a buff, but the uh, internal cooldown a little bit ba bothersome to set up, at least figuring it out on your own. So TMW, get back in. Want to go back to our bar, or if you want to create a new group, I highly suggest making different groups for certain things. As you see, I have buffs, procs, defensive, malice for Hero Garage. Uh, internal cooldowns and my damage buff, which is this group down here. I just have this group together. Uh, my one recklessness bar, which I have paired with LZY class timer that sits right above it. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to go just add a new column to our new group here. Right click it, go to main. Save you didn't change it. It's on here. You you can't uh, left click to select anything. You have to actually right click in order to select the the empty space that you want to. So right click the empty space. Make sure enable is good. Drop down to buff and debuff. We are gonna do currently do it for our evil eye. So that buff is called outrage. Type in outrage. Spell ID right here. All you have to do is either click enter or click the actual outrage over here in the right menu that appears. Um, you want to watch yourself, so obviously a player. Uh, you could do player, you could do target, you could do focus target. Uh, if you want to monitor multiple things, um, you can put a semicolon in there. And so if you if you want to watch your buff and a another player's buff, you can specifically put them by name in there. Uh, but just for right now, with the with the trink pack specifically, um, you want to uh, just keep it as yourself. So it's a buff. Uh, you don't need only check bind since no other. It, it's a buff, so really it, no one else is going to duplicate it because it's your trinket on yourself. So you want to just have any present at 100%. You don't need all absent for this one. Uh, just normal duration, everything checked. You want to click your show timer, LVI timer text if you have it. And that's it. Uh, make sure your group settings only in combat. It's ready to go. Now, as you see, prox up, seven seconds going down here. It's good to go. Now, so a lot of people like to monitor the internal cooldown. I do as well because it allows you to at least know when you're going to get that extra damage again. So if we want to. Do that. We're going to add a new group for this. So click add a new group. You can change this, but icon. Regroup name, IQD. And then only show in combat. Make sure that's checked. Your new group is going to appear right in the middle of your screen. You can move it, set it. So we're also going to do two columns for this because we're just going to monitor a couple buffs on this one. So go back to main. Make sure you right click the button that you want to check. Go to enable. Go to internal cooldown on our many abilities of here. Make sure you go internal cooldown. So, all you're going to do, you don't type in the trinket name or anything. It's still Outrage for Evil Eye. Keep having to move this over. But Outrage, you want to buff, debuff damage, energize summon. Because it is a damage based ability that uh, it will proc on and procs on damage, we do want that one checked. Uh, so, we want show timer, show all of UI. See, I left the spells to check too early, so it yells at me. It's missing its internal cooldown duration. As you can see, the evil eye has a 55 second cooldown. So after we put in our colon, 55 and enter. And it's good to go. Now you see these have clocks right now for the outrage. But when it appeared, it had the outrage icon. If you want to change that, so instead of just showing the clock when you're editing these, you actually know what it is. Right click it, go to custom texture. Type in the ability that name again, click it, and it does show. Yeah, I can. You can actually change this to whatever you want. Um, it'll just assume that's the uh, the the preferred texture for it for yourself. So if you if you have a like a a one shot macro or something along that lines, um, and you want it to match your macro uh, picture, you just set that up and it'll show. So it correlates with your own memory but for right now we're just going to use the regular one so outrage it is again this one's going to be monitoring the internal cooldown so we're going to pop it right below it buff debuff this uh... one we're not monitoring usable we're going to check unusable we're going to check unusable and uncheck usable so we're going to drop the opacity 
to 50% once again. And that's it. You want 55 seconds because as soon as the prox is going to roll. So, go back again. I'm going to get a proc here. There it is. Alright. So, uh, we have the actual damage icon going. I guess in combat or else it's going to go weird. Alright. Our damage buff wears off, but our internal cooldown is still tracking going on here. So we know exactly how much time we have before our next um, trinket proc is going to be. So, we got 30 seconds. It's still going. We got our bloodthirst. Uh, but pretty much, that's it. Uh, once this timer runs out, this icon will disappear. Um, and you should get a proc right away. Sometimes you get unlucky, but... So, next, we're going to do an Enrage Timer. Since we already go over the basics, uh, for the rest of these, I'm just going to show you what I use. Uh, these are my preferred. You don't need to monitor these in your own ways. Um, so, next, we're going to go to our abilities and personal buffs. Uh, so, Colossus Smash. Uh, and Raging Blow. Other things, Sudden Death. I still have a four-piece because I have horrible luck with drops. But the big one is Enrage. So here we go with Enrage. Right click on your new button if you want to go. But we'll just skip that. Uh, and we'll just show you the settings for mine. Enrage is in buff. All you have to do is type in Enrage. Make sure you get uh, the Warriors Enrage. Not any other crazy things like that. Uh, so there are two different Warrior ones here. Make sure you do grab the right one. I believe these are the same thing. It won't change. Uh, but all we're going to do is buff. Any present, only check mine. You don't really need to. Uh, if it's personal and it's a buff. Uh, only when it's target, it'll, it'll change. I'll go over that in a second. Uh, you want to do any present. You don't need absent because uh, enraged. Hopefully you are enraged a lot. Normal duration, so timer, show all your attacks. Just your basic buff uh, layout. Now sudden death, same thing. Raging blow is the same thing as well. Uh, now, Colossus Smash is where it's different. Uh, you do have your six second window that you want to monitor. Uh, so you're going to go to buff debuff, type in Colossus Smash. And this time we're going to go to target. Make sure target is the unit to watch. Make sure it's debuff. This is where you really want only check mine is in the debuffs. Because if you don't, it's going to show every time Colossus Smash or any debuff that you're monitoring is up on your target. Uh, I'm the only warrior in my 10 man, so I really don't have to worry about it. Uh, but anytime I'm in a 25 man, that little freak went off like 8,000 times when I didn't have this thing checked. Um, so, once again, any present, 100% or whatever you want. Uh, show timer, show UI text. I don't need global cooldown for a debuff. But, and then that's it. Uh, now, this one, it looks like a bloodthirst icon, but this is actually our bloodlust uh, monitor. For this one, uh, tell me when it was nice enough to put them all into one. So what you want to type in is Burst Haze, right here. Uh, you'll see it covers Heroism and Bloodlust, Bloodlust, Heroism, Time Warp, Ancient Hysteria, and Drums of Rage. You'll even get your drums in there. Um, this one you'll want to have only check yours because you only want to monitor yours. Everyone should have uh, the same thing, but, you know, roll through with your regular settings. Show timer, LUI text, only check my normal duration, etc. Now, this one right here. I use for defensives. Same thing, buff, except this time I type in defensive buffs. This one covers every single defensive buff in the game. Uh, most of them are class specific, uh, but you do want this because it will show Die by the Sword and Shield Wall. Now the thing with this one is if you use Die by the Sword and Shield Wall at the same time, uh, it will only show the one that was triggered first. Uh, so I highly suggest using Die by the Sword and then Shield Wall and like the oh shit scenario. Uh, but uh, once one runs off, it will show the cooldown for the other. So if I use Die by the Sword and the Shield Wall immediately after, once Die by the Sword is... That's so weird to say. Once Retaliation is over, uh, <laughs> Shield Wall will still show. Uh, but same thing. Same normal stuff. Just uh, buff, only check my normal duration, show timer, LUI text, and only show in combat. Same thing with my Recklessness add-on, or my Alexis Maclo. Now, if we want to monitor Malice, such on Heroic Garage or any debuff that you get. Uh, if you want to monitor stun or something like that and not use the blur, Blizzard 1 or Lose Control, uh, you can do the same thing. So you type in the debuff name, 
select it you want to watch yourself or if you want if you're a healer and you want to watch uh, monitor tank stacks or something along that lines you can set it up to here um, and you can also check the stacks like uh, for high stacks and stuff like that or high durations uh, when tank swapping that would actually be really good useful for you uh, but debuff only check mine show timer show you I have time my text hit OK and you're good to go it's really simple you guys should be getting the idea by now um, now for these down here my raid icons and just uh, just general ones I want to monitor in and out of combat these I have set up a little different I have on spell cooldown uh, because these are spells these are all procs buffs and debuffs so these are spells all it is a spell cooldown it's a lot simpler. You just type in the name of the spell if you want it to show when it's usable or unusable or both. Uh, I have both here. So it will show like this. Nice, clear, 100% right there. No timer text or anything when it's up. And it will be at 30% opacity and show a timer text on when it's able to be used again. Um, ready to go. So, <sighs> excuse me. Early, been up all night setting things up. But, alright, with that, just give it a rundown, show how everything's going, just run through, you see everything's up, nice and going, going here, shows all your different cooldowns, everything, I have my retail going here, I have both of them at once. You can see just run through. And that's what I was talking about when it goes under. There's the internal cooldowns and mine also set up down here. Just really messing up my irritation now because I'm talking. But it shows both my uh, tricky cooldowns, my recklessness and blood thirst, or blood fury, excuse me. Um, cooldowns, my vig, rallying cry, my shattering throw. I'm going to go on cooldown. Everything's on cooldown right now except for vig. Uh, and then really that's it. Uh, these are your basic ones for, I mean, every class can base it off of this, but these are the ones I use for my warrior. Um, they're really helpful in monitoring things. They allow me to focus more on situational awareness and not being able to just to sit here and tunnel my, uh, my action bars. As you see, they're pretty small and out of the way. Um, now if you've added something that you want to remove, like our test ones right here, do slash TMW again. Right click on the group, go to group settings, group, and delete this group. Now if you have one that you want to use, but you don't just don't want to use it at that time, just go up and click enabled, and it'll put it opaque and it won't show up until you re-enable it. Uh, but since we don't need this one, delete that group as well, and you're good to go. Oh, you can also change your bar texture from your main options. Uh, you can check a lot config in combat. You can lock the, or unlock the add-on. You can change a lot of things from up here. Um, you can send other things. You can do everything. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of different things you can change up here. All kinds of different buttons, everything. Those are a little advanced. These are your basic simple ones you want to roll with. Uh, but really, I mean... If you're looking for just to monitor your cooldowns, your trinkets, your procs, your defensives, everything's like that, should be good to go. Good luck. Thanks for watching.